ROS elements can also attack lipid molecules, which process is known as the lipid peroxidation process. That means it is a free radical chain reaction where free radicals steal electrons from the membrane lipids, uh, either a cell membrane or organelle membrane, producing lipid peroxidation products, which further attack DNA, protein, and other lipid molecules, ultimately leading to cell death. ROS elements attack mainly on two common sites phospholipid molecules having unsaturated bond between two carbon atoms and the ester linkage between glycerol and the fatty acid. Mainly two states are involved in lipid peroxidation process initiation, propagation, and termination. The initiation step involves production of a lipid radical when a reactive oxygen species like hydroxyl radical combines with a hydrogen atom of lipid and it will uh, it will produce uh, lipid radical along with water the unstable lipid radical quickly reacts with uh, oxygen in the propagation step to form peroxyl radical uh, uh, peroxyl lipid radical then this peroxyl lipid radical can bind uh, can react with uh, lipid to produce lipid hydroperoxide. The chain reaction of free radical reactions continues until a non-radical species is formed by combination of two free radicals in the termination step. The free radical reactions can also be halted by antioxidants within an organism. They can bind to the free radicals and prevent lipid peroxidation process. The lipid molecules can also be oxidized or catalyzed by several enzymes like lipoxygenase, cyclooxygenase, and cytochrome P450. End products of lipid peroxidation process may be mutagenic or carcinogenic. The main primary products of lipid peroxidation are lipid hydro, uh, hydroperoxide, LWH, among the many different aldehydes which can be formed as secondary products during lipid peroxidation are malonaldehyde mda propan propanal hexanal and 4 hydroxy none uh, non and null that means 4 hne mda is most mutagenic product of lipid peroxidation commonly used as a biomarker for oxidative deterioration in omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids whereas 4 hne is the most toxic product and it displays a, uh, displays a dual role as a protective signaling molecule during gene expression and a cytotoxic promoter of pathological pathways. This figure is showing you initiation, propagation and termination pathways during parasitation process of polyunsaturated fatty acid. Most often reactive oxygen elements affect uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids or PUFA because reactive hydrogen containing methylene groups are present in between multiple double bonds. So in this figure two double bonds are present here and uh, uh, this is the active methylene group where hydrogen is uh, where, the, uh, where uh, reactive hydrogen is present. Now except O2- and H2O2 most of the ROS elements can um, initiate this lipid peroxidation process. So during initiation process means it is uh, initiated by ROS elements. I have given one exam example uh, that is the hydroxyl radical and PUFA is converted to lipid radical. During that process water is released and uh, this is the initiation process. After that, there will be rearrangement, molecular rearrangement of lipid radical, and so in this process, conjugated diene can be produced. Now, in the second step, that means in the propagation step, oxygen is reacted with the radi uh, lipid radical so that lipid peroxyl radical is produced. Now, this uh, lipid peroxyl radical is again reacting with uh, PUFA, that means polyunsaturated fatty acid to produce lipid hydroperoxide and simultaneously PUFA is again converted to lipid radical. So this is about the propagation processes. In the last step, that means in the termination step, in the termination reaction, antioxidants donate hydrogen atom to the lipid peroxy radical and um, resulting in the formation of non-radical products.